Hey guys, what's up? It's Mark Five Snipes here, and welcome to episode 5 of Kerbal Space Program. Woohoo! <laughs> How's that for the least enthusiastic woohoo of all time? Um, here we go, the new patch, 0.22. There's a few new stuff added. Uh, I have no idea what it is, so we're going to find out how we go. But, we have a mission to complete, and today is a very special one. We're actually going to go to the moon. That's right, we're going to get our first Kerbals up to the moon. Check it out, this is the new uh, new layout, the research and development building here. It's currently closed, unfortunately, but basically they've just thrown everything together now, so it's much more clustered in. It looks, it looks way better because everything's linked up, so you can pretty much drive around the whole facility now, which might be worth doing at some point, but straight on to the mission. Okay. First things first, let us refer to the mission brief and see what we have to do today. Okay, mission M5SP04, Mun Landing. Mission brief, design a ship capable of breaking Kerbin orbit and reaching the moon. Land on the surface, conduct the first Kerbal Mun walk before returning home. Status incomplete. Well that's another... Not quite so easy mission. <laughs> I've only actually, I've gotten to the moon once before and it wasn't pretty so yeah this could be interesting. First off I will uh, have to build some and prototype a lander so let's first name the mission. M5 SP04. It's got my little dash in there. Right. Okay so for a lander I'm thinking we'll go with the Mark 1 lander can. Do I want to send up a group of people or just one? No, we'll just send up one for now. Here it is. This will be the uh, the main unit containing our Kerbal. God, I really hope, I really hope this goes smoothly. Um, actually, it might be an idea to have this be the thing that returns to Earth because this capsule is actually much more suited for re-entry. But, this isn't realistic, so I'll just go with this one. Alright. Now, first things it's going to need is an onboard SAS system to keep it steady on the landing. And we'll put that on the top here. Actually, we can probably chunk that down there. Does it let us get away with that? No. Okay, so that's the SAS system which will assist when we have to land on the moon. Alright, we're also going to need a pretty sturdy bottom to land on. But I also want to have quite a bit of fuel on board here so that when we land, we, you know, there's no stress for how, how long we have to actually perform it. So, let's put a small tank on. Can I go bigger than that? Nah, it looks silly. Let's just go with the small one here. Actually, one other thing about this can, this landing can is actually extremely inefficient. Yeah, let's scrap that. Let's land, let's bring a, let's bring a proper thing down. Let's get this. Yes. Now that's, that's a proper landing capsule, that is. Alright, so, we'll use that, but we'll need to put a few because the first thing that you need to put onto this is the SAS system, which I can't seem to find. There it is. So there's our SAS. SAS. Is it Stedler? Stedler SAS. Uh, what else could probably afford to go up here? Maybe our uh, our parachutes. Where are they nowadays? Here it is. Okay, so that's our parachute and SAS system. And we will also need to put on... Uh, Actually, we can do that further down. But what we, we need to put the, the decoupler, 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 decoupler. Is it? There it is. Decoupler. Because when we re-enter, this is what will be uh, coming back. Because I do intend on getting him back to Kerbin. That is uh, definitely up on the priorities. So, now we need to prepare its landing struts. This time we actually will because we've actually got something to work with. So, is that the same size as this? Yeah, it is. It looks better. Okay. 
So this is what we will be putting onto the moon. And there's its poodle engine. It's quite a large lander. It will have quite a few people on board. And I'm not sure I like that. And if this is the case that I do change over to a smaller lander, which I have deciding I am going to do because I don't think I'm quite ready to send this many people. I don't think it's fair to kill that many poor Kerbals. So let's actually go for this one here. This one's much smaller. It carries. It might not be a very comfortable place to be, but it's certainly the most efficient way. Okay, so first things first. Let's plonk on a inline advanced stabilizer. Okay, that'll have to go behind a decoupler though. So let's chuck that on the bottom and then they say yes on the top. All right, we're also going to plonk a parachute on here which has in fact killed already one of our Kerbals. Uh, now we've just got to actually work on what it's going to land. Because it, um, I might be able to land this thing on SAS, but um, most likely not. <laughs> it's not exactly the most safe stuff to use. Uh, let's just go a small tank. Maybe a couple small tanks, because that's not much. How big is this? That's yeah, stupid. Let's put that. And maybe another one. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, for landing struts, let's put these guys on. These are cool. How many, do, how many of them do we want? Probably four. There's the actual module, so. Have to see. Hope they've got a, a wide step because. Anyway, let's, 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 let's make that step a bit wider by putting on some uh, external tanks here. Uh, how big are these? Oh, these are monsters. Jeez. Wow. Huge. Alright. Well, these can be our uh, SAS tanks for all of it. <laughs> There's also this thing, the science... Science thing? Wow. Well, I've got no idea how, you that, how that works, so I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, yeah, let's put our landing struts back on here. Oh, you're shitting me. We can't put those on the SAS tanks. Are you mirroring? You're joking. Alright, well, that's not going to work apparently, so we'll use these instead. Maybe the bigger ones. Oh shit, they're too big. And then we can uh, extend those out ourselves. Let's put those up here. And extend out the legs. Alright. Let's go find that leg. Okay, cool. That looks like a nice, wide, flat area to land on. I'll have to give this a test run before we uh, actually try it. Now it needs some sort of propulsion. How big is this little Rocco Max? Not very big. And deceleration is key here, so how big is this going to be? That's too big. Let's go with the Poodle. The Poodle equivalent, rather. Alright, looking good. Um, now we need to add a, just a wee bit more power, I think. Let's go with the... These little guys. Just plonk those on the end there. Uh, actually, that's not gonna let. That's not gonna work, is it? No, it isn't. Don't even try it. What is wrong with you? Uh, yeah, that's not gonna work. Let's get rid of those. Shit. Bye bye. Okay, things, 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 things. What things? Oh, there's things that we need to do, and I don't know what they are. Oh, of course, ladders. I've got no way of getting. Getting down here. Let's use this. Ah, that's plenty big. That's a huge ladder. Plonk that on there. There we go. So now he's got a way up to his pod and down from his pod. Um, one thing that's missing here is energy. We're going to very quickly run out of solar power here. And I want to put a light on here so that he can see what he's doing. Can I plonk that down there? In some sort of hilarious fashion? Yes, I can. I'll put two of those on. Yes, there we go. A few spotlights there. Uh, angle's actually not very good there. Can we uh, change that, please? Thank you. More or less. Nope, that's uh, that's even worse. <laughs> uh, okay, fuck it. And let's put it right in between those ladders there. So that's super bright in his face. Okay, 
Uh, next thing, what is next? We need power, so at the moment we haven't got any batteries, so we'll plonk a few of them on. Oh, here we go, with the awesome beats. Okay, there's a few batteries. They appear to be floating. <laughs> Alright, a few batteries, plenty of RCS. We actually haven't got any RCS on here, so let's add those on. Uh, I've got to be careful not to block my ladder with the RCS. And I get away with it there, which is handy. There's our RCS, and we'll put a few of these little ones on here. Just for a bit of extra stabilization. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to get this in the way, so let's put those there. Alright, that looks good. And now we need some uh, solar panels, so let's use the photo photovoltaic. Actually, they're too big and ugly. That's a bit more logical. And we'll just have two of those guys. Okay, that can just plonk on top of the SAS. Alright, that's all nice and compact. Jeez, it's a bloody complicated looking vehicle. That's that's what you need for when you're doing science. You've got to have some crazy shit on your thing. And let's put some sciencey stuff on here. Like, what's this? Fully deployable data transmission system. Okay, well, I think we only need one of those. Let's plonk that on the side here. And we'll plonk an antenna just there because it looks like it would make sense. <laughs> Gotta have as much crazy shit on this thing as possible so that it looks like it's doing stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's about it. Alright, let's give it a quick test run. Save launch. Got to make sure that everything works, because that would be tragic if it doesn't. Right, so it's night time, but that's fine, because now we can test out our lights. Yeah, looking good. Alright, let's put the gear down. Uh, let's put the gear down. Oh, that is awesome. They've got a huge reach on those. How, how can we even get the ladder down here? Do, do, do. Oh yeah, such a cool game. Look at that, that gets down just about where it needs to be. Okay, uh, give it a quick test run. Oh, it's a heavy bastard though. The RCS works, whoa. Yeah, it's, it's got a lot of control on it. And woo -hee! watch out for the flag. <laughs> Okay, let's get back to the uh, vehicle assembly room. Now that, that that works really well, that is a really good lander.